Hi there! Today we're going to review the effective practice cold call. Cold call is where you select a student to answer a question even if the student doesn't raise his or her hand. Cold call has four main purposes. The first is to check for understanding. How did the French treat the land? Um, I guess the French like respected the land more. The second is to create a culture of engaged accountability. Okay, you guys are getting, you're almost there. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's go over to uh, Abby here. Um, the French also had really positive relationships with the Indians. The third is to keep the pace of the class going. So what I want you to do is you are going to turn and you're going to tell your neighbor if you thought it was true or false and why. So the person who's going to speak first is the person sitting closest to the door. So raise your hand if you're sitting closest to the door. And the fourth is to ensure a high participation ratio. You'll want to keep the cold call predictable and systematic. That is, use the practice often and call on different students. Garrett, can you talk about what factors are? Um, they are uh, two numbers that multiply together to get 18 or whatever number. I like that. Two numbers that multiply together to get that. So Nathan, can you repeat back what Garrett said? What is a factor again? Also, make sure you keep the cold call positive. Don't use it as a punishment. This is a time to let students show and share their understanding. In addition to calling on random students, you can write students' names on popsicle sticks and choose one. Or make it fun by throwing a ball to a student to answer a question. Finally, cold call is a terrific tool to check for understanding. Use it often during the day by breaking up longer questions into smaller ones so more students have a chance to answer. Remember, practice makes perfect. So practice, practice, practice.